All right, welcome to my top 10 cycling apps of the year. And this year has been an interesting year in the cycling app space. We've seen apps hitting the brakes and calling it quits, others cranking up their prices, and new apps enter the space trying to shake things up. So the way it works here, these apps I pick here are smart apps, the ones that play nicely with your smart bike trainer. So at minimum, they offer support for Bluetooth FTMS and can interact with smart trainers and control resistance. So they support erg mode and sim mode. So this is my top 10 and it's ranked based on combination of features, ease of use, prices, training plans, and uh, honestly, whether I would stick with the app for more than a hot minute. So yes, I would say my personal bias meter here is in full swing and uh, there are apps that I'm not going to mention here and you might disagree with me and that's fine. But if there is an app that you are absolutely crazy about that I did not mention here, let us know in the comments. So before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's roll into my top picks. Let's start off with Be Cool. Be Cool is a virtual cycling platform that allows cyclists to ride on virtual routes, participate in group rides and races, and engage in structured training workouts. You also get access to Be Cool Fitness, which is a spinning, peloton style instructor lid type class. And Be Cool Cycling offers plenty of routes that you can ride in map view, video view, or my personal favorite is the 3D view. And in terms of community features, be cool allows users to join live group rides and races with other users from around the world and they constantly run live events that you can join some can have a decent amount of riders but most likely you'll be riding with only a handful of others be cool cycling also offers the ability to create your own routes be cool costs 11 dollars per month they also offer an annual subscription for 110 dollars per year you can also get a family membership for 129 dollars per year be cool is available for mac os windows ios and android and be cool is compatible with smart trainers and supports standard classic trainers or dumb trainers with a speed sensor next on the list is Full Gas. Full Gas features over 1,500 high definition video routes from over 40 different countries with varying levels of difficulty and terrain. Full Gas routes are shot with high quality cameras and are designed to simulate the real world experience of outdoor cycling and bring it indoor. The social scene in Full Gas is limited. They offer a limited selection of live group rides and social events, but like most other apps, you will most likely find yourself riding alone or with a handful of other riders. They have an okay workout library and training plans that you can follow. You can also sync your workouts from training peaks as well. Full Gas does not offer running plans or the ability to run on their platform, and it is available on Mac OS, Windows, iPad or iPhone, Apple TV, and Android as well. And the app is compatible with almost any smart trainer that supports the standard communication protocols. It does not directly support classic trainers, but you can ride it in what is called steady mode and the video will just play and move you down the road at the same speed of the person who filmed it. Subscription to Full Gas costs $14.99 per month or you can go with the annual membership for $125.99, which comes down to about ten and a half dollars per month but you can also add an extra family member at no additional cost full gas is well designed and accessible on multiple platforms making it easy for riders to access and use it is honestly a great app if you are looking for real video type routes rather than a gamified virtual environment however it does fall short in few areas for instance full gas does not offer a robust social scene that you will find in zwift for example also, their workout library and training plans are not as robust and it does not support running. Let's talk about Rovi. Rovi offers a range of features for indoor cycling, including the ability to ride or race on virtual routes that feature real world video footage and augmented reality. The platform also offers structured workouts, training plan, 
virtual races and group rides with other users uh, worldwide. While the augmented reality feature in Ruby is good, you'll find the video quality may not be as smooth as what you would find on platforms that create their own virtual roads like Zwift or MyWush. However, this isn't a unique thing to Ruby as the video quality often suffer in real video type apps when the videos are sped up or slowed down to match the user's virtual speed. Ruby has a big library of structured workouts that you can pick from. You can also create your own workout using their workout builder or sync your workout of the day from training peaks. They also have different training plans for different options but they are not as developed as other platforms. Ruby's social scene is not bad either. The platform hosts various events, races, and group prizes to keep things interesting and enjoyable. The number of riders joining a ride or race can vary from a handful to a few hundred, but generally expect between a couple to 50 riders and their biggest social rides. You can also create your own group prize or races and invite others to join you. Also, you can use Ruby to run if you have a treadmill. All you need is a Bluetooth foot pod or my favorite, which is this run device that sits by the treadmill belt and broadcasts the speed and cadence data to Ruby. Ruby is compatible with Windows, Mac, iPhone, or iPad. It is also available on Apple TV and Android, and Ruby supports smart bike trainers. Also, they support classic dumb trainers with a speed sensor. And subscription to Ruby is $14.99 per month, and you can no longer share that subscription with family members like you used to do in the past. However, there's a new duo package that you can use with a partner for $19.99 per month. So you're saving about 33% compared to getting to individual subscription. They also introduce a group subscription plan for up to five routers that is priced at $32.99 per month. Overall, I think Ruby is a solid app. Its high quality video routes and augmented reality are certainly impressive. The app is well designed and accessible on multiple platform and supports virtual running. The next app is Trainer Day. This app is great for coach athletes or those who want an all nonsense workout player. What makes Trainer Day shine is its get up and go factor. Open the app and boom, you have three recommended workouts for you based on your most recent activities and you can start immediately. You can switch workouts on the fly and even edit workouts. Trainer Day contains a giant community driven library of cycling workouts and offers training uh, plans as well. You can create your own workout by either using their web spreadsheet like Workout Creator which is very simple to use and easy to, to use, or import workouts directly from Training Peaks. You can also upload your own workout file and they accept all the common formats like Zwift, MRC, or ERG type files. There is a free version uh, of this app with 20 workouts and the ability to use their mobile app or just pay $3.99 per month or $39. $99 per year and you have full access to the app. The app is available on both iOS and Android. Exert is a unique cycling platform that focuses on individualized training using advanced analytics and metrics. The platform uses a variety of data points to track changes in your fitness, suggest workouts, and create a personalized training plan. Their workout player will monitor your fitness in real time and adjust the intensity and duration of your workout down to each interval. Exert is primarily focused on training and does not have a virtual world or social features like Swift. However, Exert offer a library of smart cycling workouts that use advanced mathematical modeling to precisely track your fatigue level throughout a workout. The Exert Fitness Planner also allows you to create and manage a training plan customized to your specific needs, including your fitness abilities, strength and weaknesses, and available time to train. They also just released an AI to allow you to uh, pick an FTP in the future and the uh, platform will develop a plan to get you to that FTP. So with Exert, you have the tools to be your own coach and tailor your training plan to your unique needs. Exert offers sessions for users who want to socialize and join group workouts or ride within the Exert community. In addition, 
Excerpt Academy sessions are available for those who want to learn more about how the platform works while getting their workout done. And users can also create their own group sessions for their Excerpt communities, including clubs and teams. Excerpt is available for $999 per month or $99.95 per year. And it is available on iOS or Android. They also have a Garmin Connect IQ app that you can use. Exert is a standout platform with a one-of-a-kind smart engine that sets it apart from the competition. It is ideal for cyclists who want to get stronger over virtual bills and whistles. Unfortunately, it does not support multi-sport and does not account for running and swimming, for example, in calculating your fitness signature. Also, if you run with power, your run power data will skew your running or cycling power data. So you'll have to create a separate profile for running and it's just confusing. Despite these limitations for cyclists only, Exert is an excellent choice. Wahoo Systems specializes in personalized workout paired with video-based cycling content. Wahoo System takes a different approach to engaging riders in their workouts. With video content that features a storyline, they grab your attention and help you stay focused throughout the workout and it works. You can also enjoy scenic guided video rides and cycling focused documentaries and short films paired with structured endurance and recovery workouts under their inspiration workouts. And for the cherry on top, they have pro rides, which are simply amazing. In a lot of ways, I think the video content offered by Wahoo System is even better than real world location based content. Personally, I find it to be more engaging and enjoyable. Wahoo System has a vast library of training plans that you can customize to suit your specific needs. The platform offers a variety of cycling, running, yoga, and strength workouts. Wahoo System cycling workouts are built around their four dimensional power, 4DP concept. The 4DP concept takes into account the differences between athletes. No two athletes are the same. Even if they have the same FTP value, one athlete might be better at short type effort, while another might excel at the long sustain endurance type effort. And depending on their goal, each athlete may require a different plan to get them to the same destination. Wahoo System requires a membership, which is $14.99 per month or $149 per year. It is available on Windows, Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Android, and works well with all smart trainers and classic trainers with a speed sensor. Wahoo System is one solid platform that packs a punch. Their training platform is no joke, and their cycling videos are both challenging and entertaining. The app is well designed and super user friendly to use. However, the future with Wahoo System is shaky. Wahoo just recently pulled the plug on their RGT cycling app, and they also closed their sports science center, and uh, they bundled annual Zwift membership with their Wahoo bike trainers. So it is unclear what's going to happen to Wahoo System, and 2024 is going to be a big year for Wahoo System. Okay, let's talk about Indie Velo. Indie Velo is definitely one to watch, even though it's still considered in beta, and I usually do not like to talk about apps in beta, but this app is already turning heads for being seriously feature rich and hyper focused on group events, racing credibility, and results verification. And in terms of functionality, it checks all the boxes, multiple routes, custom workouts and erg mode functionality, group events, and yes, you can even create your own teams and events. Indivelo revolves around a singular island with a number of different route configurations, ranging from flat terrains to those with a bit of elevation. Indivelo's got a neat selection of structured workout, including different types of FTP tests to choose from. The cool thing is you can also bring your workouts from apps like Training Peaks or other third-party apps or upload your own uh, workout files. Indivelo offers a few ways to socialize with others, and we're talking group rides, pace rides, group workouts, challenges, races, you name it. They make it easier to check out events, 
create your own event and share events and invite others to join you. Now, if you are into graphic, you're gonna have to manage your expectations here. Indivelo's visuals aesthetic is a bit old school. They've been laser focused on nailing the technology, features, race, credibility, and ride physics, which is, by the way, impressive with leaning into corners, braking, drafting, and you can even see wind speed and direction. As for setup, the app was easy to download and install, and it is currently compatible with PCs and Mac OS, and Android version is being tested, and a version for Apple TV is also in the works and promised to come out in the near future. There is no support for classic trainers, meaning you need a power meter at minimum or smart trainer to use Indivelo. So like I said earlier, Indivelo is currently in beta and is free to use. But for those who want to chip in and support this project, there is a membership at $12.99 per month or an annual option for $129.99 per year that will get you into the Founders Club with some perks. Next is my wash. If you haven't caught my in-depth video on my wash yet, definitely check that one out for the full scoop. My wash has over 54 different routes in five different worlds, totaling around 500 miles. They offer group events, racing, sim rides, and a really nice library of workouts and workout plans. MyWash recently locked an exclusive three-year partnership with the UCI for the UCI Cycling Esport World Championship that covers 2024, 2025, and 2026. MyWash has done plenty to ensure racing credibility, from the ability to do or record power to enhance rules and regulations and power verifications to ensure fair play. The app is completely free and works on Windows, PCs, iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. However, the app needs some pretty beefy specs, so older tablets or PCs might struggle to run it. But the good news is, for Apple TV fans, they are working on a version uh, that is set to roll out in 2024. My Wush is compatible with smart trainers and they've got plans to support classic trainers with a speed sensor, though that feature is still on the to-do list. As a newcomer, My Wush still has some growing to do, but they've got the financial muscles to make it happen. The social scene is a bit quiet for now and you will likely be riding with bots most of the time. And despite being free, they seem to struggle getting users and keeping users using the app. However, with a UCI partnership in their pocket, it's going to be interesting to see how MyWatch Evolve stands out in the market and start pulling in more users to their platform. I think 2024 is a crucial year for this platform to make things happen. The next app is Trainer Road. Trainer Road focuses on power-based cycling workouts. It offers a vast library of workouts designed for self-trained athletes who want to improve their cycling performance, set goals, or train for specific races. This platform is perfect for cyclists who are serious about training and are looking for a structured and effective training program. Trainer Road virtual environment consists of a simple power and workout graph, basically, a workout display showing your power, target power, heart rate, along with your workout profile showing in blue. And many cyclists combine trainer road workout display with a movie, a cycling races from YouTube. Personally, I usually combine trainer road with Zwift, so I might have trainer road on my iPad and Zwift on my PC, but I'm also totally fine using just trainer road with my music alone and tend to find the structured workout alone engaging in itself. I find it tricky to watch a movie while training, but hey, that's just me. On the social side, you can create group workouts, which basically consists of a workout with a Zoom type video stream. What really sets Train Road apart is their well-designed, comprehensive, and adaptive training plans. They have covered all the bases, catering to cyclists, triathletes, off-road cyclists, road racers, and more. And with their adaptive training, they use machine learning and AI and data to recommend workouts and training plans and take into account training fatigue, illness, vacation time, or lack of sleep. For the triathletes out there, Training Road will suggest swimming and running workouts and include them in training plans. They will also be accounted for in your overall training fatigue, but you cannot use the app to execute the runs. Trainer Road is available for Windows, Mac OS, iPhones, iPads, and Android, 
and Trainerroid is compatible with practically all smart trainers and they also support classic dumb trainers with a speed sensor and Trainerroid costs $19.95 per month or $189.95 per year. It is the most expensive app we have here, but I like to think of it as having my own virtual coach. The focus of Trainer Road is laser sharp. It's all about making you a stronger cyclist. They've cut out all the fluff and focused on what really matters. No virtual wars or scenic rides to distract you. Instead, you get a no nonsense, high efficient training platform. It's like hitting the gym with a clear plan. You are there to get stronger and every minute counts. This makes Trainer Road a top pick for me. And finally, the number one app is, yes, you guessed it, Zwift. Zwift is very social and offers many options to keep you challenged and entertained. At any one time during the indoor riding season, you can be on course with thousands of other cyclists. Zwift offers a number of virtual environments. Some are completely fictional, such as Watopia, and others are designed after real places such as London, Richmond, New York, Paris, and others. Zwift offers many ways to enjoy riding indoors and challenge yourself, from free riding, group rides, racing, to climbing, or you can pick a structured workout from their large library of workout plans, or if you are working with a coach who uses training peaks, you can simply import your cycling or running workouts from there. They also offer running, group runs, run races, and even running workouts and running workout plans. Zwift is constantly creating challenges such as the Tour of Zwift or Tour of Watopia, Zwift Academy, and give you virtual rewards to keep you motivated on coming back for more. There is a reason Zwift is the most popular cycling platform. There is just so much to do to keep you engaged when riding. Zwift costs $15 per month or $149 per year and is available on Windows, Mac, iPad, iPhones, Android, and Apple TV. Okay. I hope this overview of the top 10 cycling apps has been helpful for you. Remember, each of these apps offer unique features and benefits, so it's worth trying out a few to find the one that fits your need and goals the best. Okay, let me know if you have any comments or feedback about these apps I mentioned in this video or suggestions for other apps I should check out. Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with others in your life and do not forget to tap that like button. And if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.